Hi everyone, I'm Vincent Frochot and in this video I will analyze my game against David Pierce. The Swiss tournament was made up of 26 people and we are in the final game to determine the winner. I have black marbles so I will focus on black moves. We play the classic mirror opening. We can see white starts to play his own game from now. I knew I was able to play j7, j9, f7 because it was leaving the e5, j7 empty. I finally take the middle and wait to be pushed away from there, allowing me to eject some marbles. White just played a double move, threatening to push out a marble, and then in the next move, attacking the two black marbles in the same line. I know this triangle ejection because I studied Belgian Daisy openings. I think it's a high risk, high reward move. In this situation, the move I didn't want to see was the two white marbles going up and pushing my marble behind white's place because I need all my forces to be present to resist an attack. The first marble is trapped, so it's a good thing for black. It can be used to defend the position, or simply be pushed out. Here, I think white really doesn't want to let this fourth marble for free. Here I'm forced to block in e6. In Avalon, you generally have to play two moves in one to obtain time space advantage. Because it's not as dynamic as chess, you can only move from one place to the nearest. So that's what I make there, saving my marble and threatening to push out one. Now white will need a few moves in order to push out those two marbles, so it's a valuable move. I finally get my fourth marble for three of mine who are trapped. It's time to reposition myself and apply pressure on white to avoid him pushing out my marbles without position loss.
Now white has to choose between attacking black's big group and pushing out the two marbles, letting black reposition correctly. Most of the time it's a good idea to transform a 3 against 2 semito to a 3 against 1 by using one of the two threatened marbles to build something on a different axis. A white can't eject any marble without a position loss. Black decides to let the trapped marble rejoin the white group in order to be able to push free against two on an interesting axis which may let him interact with two of the three marbles that are trapped. White is going back in order to have three marbles to push if black takes the control of this position. This is the most common mistake in Abaddon, pushing one marble to two others, letting the opponent push back with a better positioning. Since I have the advantage of the score, making a line game is what I want. White still can't manage to eject this marble without a position loss. I decide to use the freezed line game at my advantage to take the time to initiate the ejection process of this trapped white marble. Now it's just a time affair. Since I have trapped one marble, all I need to do now is finding a way to eject another marble and the game is won.
This move makes black win. This game shows us the importance of a score advantage. That's why I have a tendency to choose an aggressive playstyle. Thanks for watching.